guys and welcome back to my channel so today we have a little bit of a different setup we're in my bathroom I wanted to share my current skincare routine with you guys but oh it's kind of echoing here <laughs> uh, but that's kind of difficult for me because there are so many different products that I use depending on how my skin's going what it looks like how much irritation I have uh, my skin is super sensitive so sometimes I have to change up my skincare routine based on what's going on there so instead of going through like a routine I wanted to take you through my medicines cabinet and talk you through some of my most used products and when I use them how I use them why I use them uh, so we're gonna go through this cabinet and then there's also a shelf over this way that I'm gonna show you that has a lot of my favorite face masks so that's what we're gonna do today uh, I hope this angle is okay <laughs> my camera is like stacked on a table on a laundry basket on a basket I don't even know what's going on so we're just gonna kind of wing this as we go and hopefully it'll work so down here I mostly keep cleansers and different facey wash things this stuff is my like skincare routine like my moisturizer toner stuff like that and then up here are extra products that I use for different times in my skin if that made sense <laughs> based on how my skin is doing and then these are new products that I'm currently testing out so I like to you leave like a little space for those so that I know okay here are the products that I need to test out and kind of figure out when I'm going to incorporate them into my routine so I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to try and figure out the best way to do this. There you go. That's a little better. Okay. So I'm going to start off down here with the cleansers. And first up, I wanted to talk about this. This is my Bioderma. This is what I use to take off my eye makeup with every single night. Um, I like to take my makeup off before I wash my face. I feel like most people do that. And this is the only stuff that I use. I love it. It's so good. It's the best micellar water I've ever used. Um, I know it's kind of difficult to get your hands on, so if you're looking for a more drugstore dupe, or, ooh, a little hiccup, or something similar, the, oh my gosh, why do I keep hiccuping? They're not even, little, they're like little hiccups. Anyway, um, the Garnier, right, my cellar water is very similar. I think this one's like a touch better. Uh, it doesn't take as much to get my makeup off, but that one is a close second favorite of mine. So this is what I'm currently using to take my makeup off with. In the morning to kind of cleanse my face after sleeping and such because I don't like to use a full-on cleanser I'll use the origins mega mushroom skin relief micellar cleanser just to kind of clean off any skincare residue left over or any like sweat from sleeping you know that kind of stuff so I kind of use this as my morning cleanse it's really nice it's very soothing uh, this line is supposed to be really good for sensitive skin so that's why I use it. I like it. It's okay. I don't think it's like anything mind-blowing. I think it's pretty similar to my Bioderma, just with those kind of skin relief properties. So I like it. It's very good. If this was the only micellar water in my collection, I would probably use it more. Will I repurchase this? Probably not, because while I like it and while I think it is really soothing, I don't find that it does anything drastic to my skin. That's a personal opinion. It's just my, my, my thoughts. Moving on. So next up, I have two cleansers that I use most often. And the first cleanser is the Soy Face Cleanser from Fresh. You will have just seen my top five fresh products. I filmed that about 20 minutes ago, trying to film videos today. Um, I'm still wearing the same outfit. <laughs> um, I love this cleanser. It's really nice. I use this as my, like normal everyday cleanser <laughs> pretty much every night i use this stuff it's amazing so good for sensitive skin very soothing and it takes your makeup off and then in the morning if i want like a really full-on face cleanser instead of just my cellar water i'll use the pharmacy clean b again really great for sensitive skin it's very gentle i like that it has the honey in it I find that skincare products with honey work really well on my skin, really like them, so I've been using this a ton. I just got it about a month ago and I've already put a pretty good dent in it, considering I don't use it every single day. <laughs> um, but I love this product. When I'm looking for more of like a deeper clean, I will choose this one over my soy face soy face cleanser for fish dinner um but these are kind of interchangeable to me they're both both very soothing very gentle i love them both i don't think i ever need another cleanser in my life 
<laughs> Moving on, I have one exfoliator in here. This is the Fresh Soy Face Exfoliant. Again, you will have just heard me rave about this. I love this stuff. It's super gentle, great for sensitive skin. It's the only physical exfoliant I will use on my skin. Really one of the only exfoliating products that I use in general. I have to be very careful with exfoliating products, but I love this one. And then I also have on the shelf my two Tatcha products. This is the Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil, and this is the Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. This is a little bit too abrasive for my skin on an everyday basis, but I like to mix these two together and kind of create a paste. And when I want like an at-home facial, that's what I use. I'll make a paste in a little bowl, put it on my skin, let it like kind of serenade, and then rub it in super gently with a little bit of water. And that's kind of like my go-to facial stuff. I don't know. That's what I really want to pamper myself. I'm almost out of this. Um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this because there are a ton of cleansing oils on the market that I think are very similar. It is very nice. This is really great if you do have sensitive skin. This, not so much. It's a little bit too abrasive for me, but I do really like how it makes my skin look afterward when I use it correctly for my skin type. So I just have to be careful with this product, but it is really nice. I'm trying to use these up because they're not products that I reach for so much anymore and they don't have super long shelf life, six months. So trying to get some good use out of this. So that is it for all of my cleansers on the shelf. I'm gonna quickly put them back and then we will move on to my second shelf. Okay, so moving on up to the shelf, this is like my everyday skincare, like my moisturizer, serum, all that good stuff. So first up, I have my toner, and this is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Formula. I love this stuff. As you can see, it's already down to here. I am obsessed with this. It's the only toner, only toner I use on my skin. It's alcohol-free, and it has aloe vera in it, which if you have sensitive skin, aloe vera is a life changer. Um, it... I love aloe vera masks, and whenever my skin is reacting poorly to something, I will use this on it, and then I will immediately go in with an aloe vera mask, and it just really helps to soothe the skin. So I love this toner. It's really, really, really good. I think it's pretty good for all skin types because it is alcohol-free, but it still has the aloe vera to help hydrate and stuff, so it's not going to dry you out. Um, it's just really amazing. I need to repurchase this ASAP. Next up, we have my three serums that I'm currently using. So first up, we have the Bare Minerals Brilliant Future Age Defense and Renew Serum. I'm pretty sure this is a vitamin C serum. Yes, vitamin C. I really love this. I was using this pretty much every single day, uh, which is why I put a pretty good dent in it. I don't, I don't really hear a lot of people talking about this, but it's a very nice, like low dosage vitamin C serum. Uh, it's not super overwhelming on the skin, but it does help brighten. It does help even the skin tone out a little bit. It hydrates. I just think it's like a nice lightweight serum. It's good, but <laughs> what I think is even better <laughs> is the Ursa Major Brighten Up Vitamin C Serum. This is new to my collection and I've been using it for about two months. You'll be seeing a full review on this soon. Um, I really love this. This is another vitamin C serum, but this also has rose hip in it, which I see better results with this one, actually. Uh, I think it really, really helps to brighten the skin and hydrate and make it look plump and healthy. I love this. I've been using it every day. It's super lightweight, but it actually has the consistency of a lotion. So if you have oily skin, you can actually use this as just like a moisturizer. Um, or if you have dry skin, you can obviously use it as a serum underneath moisturizer. So that's how I use it. I love it. It's amazing. Um, I had never really tried much from this brand before, but I was immediately drawn to their products and I was so excited to try this out because it is amazing. And then my final serum on the shelf is the Glossier Super Pure. This is for when my skin is breaking out or I have any spots. I will use this as a all over treatment if my skin is really bad or I'll use it as a spot treatment where I need it. It's the only like breakout product uh, that I found doesn't irritate my skin or doesn't dry my skin out so that's why I will always repurchase this I think it's the best like serum from Glossier they have two others but this one for me is just what works the best I love it it's amazing if you have like acne prone skin I would definitely recommend this it's really really good it also helps with redness too which I need that 
So then moving on to what else is in here. This is my moisturizer. And this is the Darfin Intral Cream, Soothing Cream. I love this stuff. I cannot say its praises more. What? What am I trying to say? <laughs> I am so obsessed with this cream. If you have sensitive skin, immediately go out and try this line because it is so good. I don't hear a ton of people talking about Darfin, and I know that it is a little bit pricier, and by a little bit pricier, I mean it is stupid expensive for some products. Like, this little thing is $72, but their stuff works. My skin was so bad about four or three months ago everything was irritating it it was just going through a stage of just like really purging and i really just had to figure out okay what products can i not use anymore what products are irritating my skin what do i have to change and during that time my mom gave me a sample of this and i started using it and it immediately within the first two days helped soothe the irritation, helped calm the skin back, my skin back down, and I was blown away. I immediately went out and bought it. It is so incredible. I need to try more from um, Darfin. Their products are just, I think, worth it. I feel like if you're gonna spend the money, if you're gonna invest in something, let it be your skin before makeup. Makeup, like for me, there are good drugstore products. There are great drugstore products. I don't need to go out and buy that. $60 foundation that's $60 highlighter but for skincare it's just there's something about it that I feel like in some aspects I do need to buy the products that are right for me even if they're really expensive unfortunately but I really love this if you have sensitive skin definitely check it out I'm gonna stop rambling about that <laughs> So then next up, I also have like a, just a little facial spray in here. This gets changed out very often. Um, before this, I had the Herbivore Rose Spray in here. But I just like to keep something in here to spray throughout the day. Uh, if I'm not wearing makeup, I like to refresh in my skin. Or if I even if I am wearing makeup, I will refresh in my skin. And right now, I just have the Urban Decay B6. This is okay. I don't think that it does anything drastic for my skin. It just really helps to hydrate. It says that it's supposed to be skin balancing and even skin tone and oil absorbing, but I don't really think it does any of that. Honestly, like, it, it's okay. I, I honestly don't think it does much. I don't know, I'm just trying to use it up, but it's in here, so I figured I'd mention it. <laughs> so then next up on the shelf, I have just all my little products in this cup. These are just like little eye creams and stuff and then some samples. First up, I have my Cora Organics Noni Radiant Eye Oil. I love this stuff. It's a dry oil, so I like using it during the day under makeup. It sits really, really nicely under concealer, under foundation, um, and it just really helps to hydrate the eye area. area. <laughs> and I think it does help to brighten a little bit. I've noticed such a difference using this and the other eye cream I'm going to mention, but I really love this. If you guys are interested, I have a full review on our blog about this product. I've been using it consistent, consistently for about four months, three months, a few months, and I've barely put a dent in it. Like, it, it is, it's gonna last me a while, but it's really good. I haven't tried any of their other products, but I definitely need to, because I really like that. The other eye cream that I use is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye. This is my night eye cream. I like it because it's a little bit thicker. Um, I will actually sometimes use this as an eye mask and put like a bunch on under my eye and let it sit for a little bit and then rub it in, but I really like this. It does help to smooth the under eye and brighten the under eye. It just does everything and it smells so good. <laughs> I love it. I already have a backup because this is like pretty much dead. I'm like squeezing the last little bits out, but you'll see this in an empty soon, but I really like this. It's amazing. So I also have a lip mask in here. This is the Laneige, Laneige, how do you say that? <laughs> Lip sleeping mask. This is a little uh, itty bitty baby sample of it, and I've pretty much used the entire thing. I think eventually I will repurchase this after I try out a few other things that I have on the back burner right now. But it is really good if you're looking for like a lightweight sleeping mask that's also going to actually hydrate your lips. I would highly recommend this. So then I also just have like some samples in here that I want to try. Um, I have the fresh. Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask, two foil samples. I actually used this the other day, which is why this one's open, and I did really like it, um, but I want to keep using it and see if I like it enough to buy it. I also have a foil sample of my Darfin Cream 
just in case I run out and I don't know it. <laughs> so I like to keep that. I have this UFO Sunday Riley face oil. I used to use this as a spot treatment, but honestly the Glossier one works a little bit better for my skin, so this is kind of just in here um, because, I don't know, uh, sometimes if I am traveling I will take this one instead just because it's smaller, but honestly I think they're both great and the Glossier one is cheaper, so I just buy that one. I also have these two um, Drunk Elephant TLC baby facial samples in here. I really want to try this, but it actually terrifies the crap out of me. Um, it's AHA, BHA. I haven't had the best luck with those types of products in the past, but I know everyone like raves about this product, so I definitely want to try it, but I just have to like patch test and really be careful. So eventually, I will try it. We'll see. If not, they will go to a better home. But for now, they're in here. <laughs> I also have my Sunday Riley Good Jeans little treatment in here. Sometimes I get really bad like clogged pores on my nose and the only thing that kind of helps is this product so I have it in here. I literally only use it on my nose, I don't use it anywhere else on my face but it's just good to have. I have another little sample too in my extra skincare drawer that holds like my backups and stuff. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that today because that would be, this video would be an hour long uh, but that's in here as well. And then I just have a sample sunscreen. This is the La, Ro La Roche Pose. I never know how to say that. Uh, this is their uh, little sunscreen. I got this in a Allure box and I just want to test it out. So it's, it's in here. I always forget to put on sunscreen. I know that's horrible. Everyone yells at me. I know sunscreen's really important, but I like products that have sunscreen already in them, like my foundation and stuff. So I'm lazy, okay? I need something that's one step. But yeah, that was my second shelf. So I'm gonna put everything back and then we'll move on to the top shelf. So onto my final shelf in here. We're just gonna talk through these few things. Um, first up, we have this little corner which is like extra skincare products. And the first thing I have in here are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads that help to exfoliate, tone, and brighten. These are the only like chemical exfoliant products <laughs> that I can really use. It has, does it say what it has in it? Oh, it's lactic acid and glycolic acid. So for some reason, these are the only acid-based products that don't irritate my skin. So I'll use these like once every two weeks just to kind of freshen up the skin. I try to keep the exfoliating to a minimum because my skin is very sensitive, but exfoliating is very, very important. So I will switch off between this and my soy face exfoliant just to make sure I'm getting all that dead skin off. So I really like those. I also have the Dermalogica Sound Sleep Cocoon. Um, this is just like a night cream. I do really like it, but I can't use it every single night. So again, this is another product that, depending on how my skin is, when I'm having a really good skin week or so, I will use this a little bit kind of in there to help keep my skin looking nice. I don't really know exactly what it does. It's just supposed to help transform skin overnight. Um, it optimizes nighttime skin recovery, which sounds like something that's like really important. So <laughs> I do try to use it. Um, I do notice that my skin looks a lot brighter, a lot smoother after using it after a little while. So I think it does do what it claims to do. I also did a review on this, I believe. So if you're interested, I'll leave that link below. But for a while I was using this like really consistently and I love the way my skin looked, but then I had another like irritation problem and a lot of times my skin what the problem is is like I'm using too many things on my skin I'm doing too much so that's why I kind of have to pull back and stop using some stuff but I will start using this again very soon I do really like this and because it's like a gel cream hybrid I think it'll be a lot better for me now that it's warmer now that I like more lightweight products so that's also up there I also have my Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. This is my only face oil that I really have. Um, sometimes you just need a good like recovery oil and I really like this one. It smells 
divine. I like that it's a dry oil so it sinks into the skin very nicely and sometimes I just really need that boost of hydration. So I actually love using this as like a primer almost. I'll put it on before I put makeup on and it just makes my makeup sit really nicely on top of my skin. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea but I like a dewy slippy makeup look so I love using this stuff. So another face oil that I have is the Tan Luxe Sleep Oil and this is actually a uh, tanning oil. This stuff is so cool. I just said that's so weird, but <laughs> I used it for the first time a few weeks ago because they actually sent this to me and I was so excited to try it out, but my skin started acting up and I was like, oh, I can't try out new products and my skin is acting up. So I waited a little bit and then I tried it about a week ago and it was incredible. I put like four drops into my fingers and kind of just like patted it into my skin uh, after my skincare routine, I believe. And the next morning I woke up with the smoothest, bronziest, glowy skin. Like, it really does bronze you. I didn't, I like, I didn't really believe that it was gonna give me like an overnight bronze, so I was like, eh, I'm just gonna put it on my face, I'm not gonna blend it into my neck, like it's gonna be fine. And like, I had this weird line right here, and I was like, oh no, like this product is really, really good, like this actually works. So next time I have to do a better job of applying, but it was so cool and I think for someone like me who gets very tan in the summer but doesn't like sun on their face, this will come in very handy. I'm very careful about sun exposure on my face and really on the rest of my body but my body just tans naturally like, I don't know, I don't really, I put sunscreen on and I still tan so I guess I'm just one of the lucky ones. But my face is one of those things where I really try to avoid sun exposure because your skin on your face is very sensitive, well mine is, so this will come in very handy. I'm really excited to keep playing with it. I want to try out more from this brand because this literally blew me away. It was so cool. So next up we have my Foreo. This is the Foreo Play, but this is the second one. This is the one that has like the change or changeable, interchangeable, replaceable, replaceable battery. Um, this is just like a little skincare cleansing device. I don't use this all the time because again, it is like a brace abrasive, so it can be too much for my skin. But every once in a while, I will go in with this and my soy face cleanser to just give my skin a good deep clean. I really like it. I think it's a lot more hygienic than the Clarisonic. The Clarisonic I did use for a while and I did really like it at first. But it started to become a little bit too much of my skin. Even when I used the Sensitive Skin brush head, it was just too rough. It was just like really, really getting in there and it started to actually do the opposite effect for my skin. It started making my skin worse. So I like that this is um, rubber, easy to clean, a little bit less abrasive, um, and just all around gent more gentle, gentler. So I really like this. They are very pricey, but I actually got this at Lord & Taylor during like friends and family and I think I got like 15% off or something, so if you're looking into it, do that. Um, but I like this one because it is very small, I can travel with it, but it still has the uh, changeable battery. So, very cool for you. I'm glad that you came out with one that had a changeable battery in it. Alright, so next up we're going to talk about products that are new to me that I'm still trying to test out. And first up we have the Pixie... Ooh. <laughs> Overnight Glow Serum. I've actually been using this for about two weeks now, and I really like it. It's a concentrated exfoliating gel. I don't think it says... Oh, it does have AHAs in it. Interesting. So it does have AHAs in it, which normally on my skin are a little bit too much, but I actually really like this. I use this every other night, but it's just like a very gel serum. It's like very thick and gel-like. And it just says to use two to three drops on a cleansed skin before moisturizer. And it's just supposed to help like exfoliate and even the skin tone and all that good stuff. And my skin has been looking so good after I used this. Um, I did have that bad reaction to a different product. It was not good. Um, so I haven't been able to use it in a few weeks, but my skin is finally calm again. So I will definitely go back to using this. I really love it. I need to put it down here, but I'm just still trying to figure out how to make room for it. Next up, we have another Pixie product, and this is the Glow O2 Oxygen Mask. It's a bubbly, bubbling, brightening boost. Uh, I actually just received this, so I haven't tried it out yet. So that's why it's up here. But I'm really, really excited to try it out. It has an instant effect brightening boost. 
This oxygen treatment relieves dull and tired skin, providing an anti-fatigue effect. Perfect before a big event or makeup application. Huh. And it's like bubbling. Maybe if you guys want, I will try this out in like a weird products video. Even though it's not like really weird, but it's kind of different. So let me know if you want to see a video of me trying this or if you just want to know my thoughts once I do. But I'm really excited to try this out. And then the last thing up here is a, actually, it's a night oil by Corson Beauty. This is actually sent to us by the brand. Um, they're a newer brand, I believe. They're run by two sisters, which is really cool for us because we're two sisters. Usually, Lynn's been a little absent recently, but it was really cool to connect with a brand that was also run by two sisters. So we were really excited for them to send us this. It does have chamomile in it, which is supposed to be good for sensitive skin. So I'm really excited to try this out. Like I said, I've been having some skin reactions, so I haven't been trying out any new products. But now that it's calmed down, I'm definitely going to add this into my skincare routine, and I will definitely let you guys know how I like it. Okay, <laughs> so now we're on to my face masks and tools. Um, ignore the shelf. That's my boyfriend's. If you were curious, he likes to use the David Beckham line. It's new at Ulta. And then this is just hair stuff, so, and some samples, but we're not going to talk about that. So we're just going to talk about the shelf. <laughs> And first up, we have some of my, well, two of my all-time favorite masks. This is the Bliss In The Honey Mega Moisturizing Lavender Honey Mask. I'm sorry if it's a little bit more echoey. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, it's getting echoey again. Um, but this is a really nice hydrating mask. I like that it's uh, pretty affordable. You can find Bliss at Ulta and Target. So I really like this product. And then my all-time fave mask is the Pharmacy Honey Potion. This is a good like all around face mask. If you need like soft, supple, hydrated, smooth skin, go for this. Whenever my skin is having just like an off day, if I look dry, if I look tired, if I look cakey and just gross, ashy, gross, you know, <laughs> I always go for this. It's kind of like your all in one mask. I really, really like it. Um, I've been really into products that contain honey recently. Hence, you'll notice the theme here. I have a lot of pharmacy stuff. And I think this is their best product by far. Um, it's just, it's amazing. If you want to see a full blog post on this, I'm pretty sure I did one. And I will leave a link below. But it's just a really nice, like, all-around, all-encompassing mask. You'll also notice that I like products that do multiple things at once because I am lazy. Next up, we have this Pearlescence Turmeric and Honey Reviving Mask. I just bought this. I literally bought it because it said it had honey in it. <laughs> I have not tried it yet, but I am very excited. This is supposed to be, oh, this is an antioxidant rich deep cleansing mask. It revives, treat, wait, it revives dry, dull skin, soothing honey, anti-inflammatory turmeric, reveals a youthful glow. It sounds great. I haven't tried it yet, but if you guys have, definitely let me know what you think. I'm excited to test it out. Next up, we have the Ole Hendrickson Cold Plunge Pore Mask. And this is good for clearing out pores. Like I said, I do have really bad pores on my nose that get clogged very easily. So when that happens, I will use this mask. Um, I actually just got this from Influencer a few weeks ago. But I've already used it a few times and I really like it. It really does help clear out the pores. And it does have this like really cooling effect when you first apply it. It's the wildest thing I've ever felt in my life. But... It's pretty cool. It is a clay mask, so I don't like to use it on the rest of my face because, again, for the hundredth time, my skin is very sensitive. But on my nose, it works perfectly. So one of my favorite, um, hot, like, glowy masks is the Frank Body Glow Mask. If my skin is looking really dull, specifically, I will go in with this. And it just, like, I don't really know what exactly it does. But when I take it off, my skin looks bright and healthy and glowy. So, I don't know. It's pretty good. Um, I'm trying to see like what the main ingredient is in here. It just has cocoa, water, <laughs> lots of coconut oil, lots of different oils. Um, but yeah, it's just supposed to help like give you glowy skin. And I think it definitely does that. I haven't tried too much from this brand, but I do really love this product. So I definitely want to try out more. Uh, if you want a mask that's literally just going to give you glowy looking skin, I would recommend this. Other than that, I don't really know that it does much else, but it definitely gives you a glow, so I would recommend it. And then the last two masks up here are my Origins masks. This is the Drink Up Intensive. I like to use this during the winter on top of my moisturizer when my skin is uber dry. Um, I will use this as an overnight mask the way it's supposed to be used, 
or sometimes I cheat and use it as a wash off mask. I will apply a really thick layer and just let it like sink into my skin and then wash off the excess with like some micellar water. Um, and then I also have the Origins Out of Trouble 10 minute mask. I used to use this a lot, but I think it started to irritate my skin. So I don't use it as much anymore. But if I have a really gnarly spot, I will use it as a spot treatment to kind of suck everything out. But it's a good mask if you have problem skin. But for me, I don't really have problem skin, so I'm not really sure why I bought this. But it is really good to clear up any spots or anything. I just can't use it on my entire face anymore. And here, I'm just going to talk about a few things. First up is my little pore extractor. Like I said, I get really bad pores on my nose and sometimes instead of using just a product, they just really need to be cleaned out. So I use this little thing. Um, I would just say be really careful with this. Uh, sanitize it with alcohol and make sure that you are cleaning it properly because if not, that will not end well. But I literally just use it to kind of scrape the sides of my nose and get all the dead skin out. Other than that, I don't use it on the rest of my face. Be very careful with extractions because sometimes it does not end well. I also have a little jade roller in here. I like to use this after I use my face oil to kind of just like sink it into the skin. I don't know that it does much, but it's like a cool trendy thing right now. And then I have the loves of my life. <laughs> These are makeup drops and they're a really big thing on Instagram right now and for good reason. So these little applicators are just like silicone-y applicators and they help you apply products. So this one is for like um, liquids and such and then this one's for like creams. So I like to use this one to apply my face masks. It makes applying face masks a lot more sanitary because you're not like dipping your fingers into a jar, you're dipping this into it. And I always make sure to clean them before and after use. So I really love these. It makes applying masks A, so much easier and B, so much cleaner because you don't have to wash mask residue off your fingers. So I really like this. Um, I love these things. I think they're so cool. They're such a cute little idea. And the brand is really cool. If you want to check them out, I'll leave their Instagram down below. Um, they just came out with a Hello Kitty one, I believe. And it's really, really cute. But these are really cool. If you're into masking, I would definitely, definitely recommend these. Check them out. They're so cool. So the only thing really left for me to show you guys would be my sheet masks. But honestly, <laughs> there's just so many in there and I don't really... Ooh, I'm undressing myself on camera. Um, I don't really have a ton of opinions on them because a lot of them are new to me, haven't used them. And then the only ones that are consistently in that drawer are the aloe vera ones. So if you're looking for a good sheet mask, look for one that's aloe vera based. They're amazing. But other than that, I don't really know. <laughs> I have a ton of face masks that like I want to try, but I just never get to it. So there's just a ton of sheet masks in there. But yeah, so that was my entire skincare video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see... Um, some of my favorite products kind of talk about a little a little bit about how I use them and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys.